Okay. Hey, everybody. Yeah, two grandmas and a microphone. It's sunny out here today. Oh, we may have to talk a little louder. I did hear that our last, uh, it wasn't loud enough. Right. Okay. Two grandmas and a microphone. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Number eight. This is a, a huge day for us and for the United States of America, and I brought uh, a piece of pie. Blueberry <laughs> pie. Blueberry pie <laughs> to celebrate. <laughs> You feel very good about what happened today, right? Yes, we have lots. I have a lot of joy and, and, and emotions about. Yes, yeah. Right. It still doesn't quite feel real yet, but uh, I'm so glad to. Yeah. America has spoken with our votes. Right. So, how many more people voted this this time yeah. around? It's how very cool impressive. That? Very impressive. Yep. And we have our first black woman, first woman vice president elect or whatever you say, right? Right, it's right. So that's, that's, so that, that's a huge step forward. It's so good. It's only taken us 244 years to get there. That's it. Just a little bit of time. Yeah. And what we get, Vicki and I sit here and talk ahead of time and we're like, oh, we have to thank Donald Trump for that because I think it, you have to have one extreme, then you go to the other extreme, right? Sometimes. All, all of the other. So... And this week has been a, str a struggle for me, and even today I still feel, I talked to Vicki a little bit about this before, you know, I have family members that are big supporter of Trump, and I have to, I have to let this go, and, and not let that bother me, and that's, it's not an easy thing. I'm sure for a lot of people, I don't think you're alone in that either. You have to have empathy and compassion, and, right, find a common ground. So when you think about it, what's happening in our families is happening in our country, and so how we deal with it in our families is very significant or how we need to deal with it in our country. Because I'm all for us unifying and going forward in a different way than we just spent these last four years. Yeah, right. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And, and what I've been thinking about is like, what is the common ground here for all of us? You know, I think we all want the same things. If you, if you sat and talked to somebody, you want peace and kindness and love, and you want the planet to be clean for your grandkids, you know? Hope. You want the kids to be able to go to school and have a great education and good food. And I think regenerative agriculture is so critical to the, the future of our country and our world. And I think, uh, you know, Biden will be, is open to all of that, which is very exciting. Very. Where, you know, President Trump was not. Very. And so what you said in the beginning was I think everybody is thinking the same, and that was the problem. Everybody wasn't thinking the same. Like your values and my values, which are similar, were not the same as the wars and the policies and what was happening. And that was popular. Right. Yeah. And now things are going to be so much better. Well, some people won't be happy. Some people won't be happy because we were talking about some of the reasons, and some are scared. They're scared of the rhetoric that they heard that wasn't even true. A lot of it, because I heard it, um, wasn't based in the, in the facts that I know anyway. So. So it'd be interesting to see what happens next. Yeah. And I think as far as the energy, what what is planned is I think that is the way we have to move forward or this country is just gonna die. Right? I understand people hundred percent, but right? not everybody looks at it like that. They'd rather save some money and now, cares about yeah, now that right then think about what's gonna happen in the future. But I think as parents and grandparents, that's a that's a big deal for us. What right. we're gonna leave. Right. How we're gonna leave this planet, how we're gonna survive, and the quality of our air, that that part got to me. You know, him removing 140 policies that had to do with our air and water, uh, that really killed me. That was like, oh, how could anybody not value that? Yeah. Right. Though I think some people might say, oh, but he kept some, or maybe he didn't need all. Show me, I, I would have to see that. But even yeah. like in Alaska and the, the Tongass Forest, I mean, the people in Alaska wanted the logging. Right. We don't know this, I mean, I don't know the situation. I guess they're unemployed and they wanted the job. and. Okay. You know, they want to feed their family. Well, has comes down to money, right? too, right? Yeah. yeah. Which is, it's a belief. I think that's a reality. It's right. an important reality. So how do we unify and combine everybody's cares, you know, and everybody's priorities in right. a way that's meaningful and not just about power, but about caring about everybody's needs? Right. That's a big challenge in a country our size, right? Yeah. It's a big challenge. Right. It's a big kind of challenge in any country. So um, this should be interesting moving forward. Right now, I feel at least there's hope because we have a person who wants to be the president of the whole country, right. not just his supporters, which really always, yeah. Right. So about, you, about <laughs> yeah, about uniting us and 
You know, and I think, oh, can you fly the American flag? People are going to think you're for Trump. I mean, that's ridiculous, right? You should be able to put your American flag out. Everyone should. So, of course. Of course. Of course. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So it would be interesting, that's to, to say the least. And, um, yeah, I, I, I talk, we were talking a little bit about, there's that book called Cast. That's out. I remember the author's Are you reading now. it? I'm not, but I want to. It's on my list. Books. Our I church is reading that as a book club. They are? Yeah, Monday nights. Oh, because Rose Angel taught us to read it on Tuesday mornings oh. as our next book. Oh. Yeah. It's supposed to be a, not an easy read. I guess, but some of the things I'm hearing, ha you know, they really focus more on how people want to feel powerful. And that was very obvious with this current president that we had that was about power, not so much does everybody need and want, but power. and. Um, so it's interesting to if every if all of us looked at how important is our personal power or power over others, right? What's power mean to us, and how do we feel it or know we have it? It's an interesting question. And I think I was thinking about that too. It's like like posting on Facebook. There's a lot of power in that because all of a sudden you have this strong opinion. Everybody's like on your side, is liking it and saying you know approving what you have to say. There's a lot of power in that too, where you might not have had that before. Well, it's interesting because my view of Facebook, I know, I, I understand that's a valid view. I get it, but I also knew I was like some people were surprised about the outcome of the election, how so many people supported Trump. I wasn't surprised. Right. I thought makes sense to me because I see how many people support him. Why wouldn't they? I wouldn't have believed in the election if I didn't see it. Like if it did turn out like that, just the way it did. It would just seem something's not right because I know there are a lot of people out there supporting him, you know. So it was real. This is a real issue that we have. So I but see. I guess it's, that's what's concerning to me. How can so many people be supportive? I don't get it. I just that's don't what everybody it. says. All the you friends know? that I have to. Well, I think again, the integrity and the honesty. Where is that in all of this? How is that okay? That became less important. Yeah. And I was talking. You know, I, if if my kid. Did the debate like Donald Trump did that debate? <laughs> I would have gone on that stage and boom, you know, you don't act like that. You know, how does he get away with that? Good question. Right? I've always said that for four years. How does he get away with wow. this? How do people support him? Right. I think they have their own agendas, and like I'm saying, they, they, we need to go deeper than on just the surface. So there are so many um, hidden ways that motivate us, I think, for our choices and our behaviors. And some people just would dismiss it or deny it or give excuses, which is called denial in general. Right. So when we deny something, it's because it's too painful to see. I don't care what we deny about, if we deny it, because we're basically these were good people that were supporting him that couldn't, couldn't possibly look at the reality of what that meant about him when they were supporting him. So they had to defend it, excuse it, dismiss it, minimize it, right? right? Oh, so he was strong in his opinion. He was it strong? He was a bully. It's right. a little different. Right. A little okay. Different. Well, it's it's in the past now. So well, I so I don't know about that one. It's not in the past. I'm, I'm hoping he gets in his golf cart and just rides off into the sunset, and we don't have to hear about him again. Well, I, I'm going to be curious. He can just run happen. his golf courses and be fine. No, what's going to happen is he's going to court and he's trying to fight this result. That's what's going to happen. Okay, so Miss Therapist, how do we let go? Let go and be fine. Well, what I think is like, so we're talking about power. So look at who we're really in control of. And the reality is we're not in control of anybody outside of yourself, right? right. But I am in control of my vote. I'm yep. in control of who I support. I'm in control of my own opinion. I'm in control of how I treat people. Like there's so many things I'm in control of, but I'm not in control of anyone else. So I'm not control, in control of how anybody views me, who's seeing this, and what their opinion is of me. I don't own that. That comes from them. Right. You know, so there's so much we do have power, and if only we would focus on our, where we really do have power, we'd have less energy to focus on anybody or anything outside of us. And that doesn't mean, like I said, I care a lot about what's happening, so I focus on how am I living my life. So my, let me tell everybody, so my big accomplishment for these four years, I was trying to get my son and my daughter wanted to vote, to register. They had never voted. Oh. I got them to register, <laughs> to vote. It was my big accomplishment. I can't even tell you how oh. big that was. Tommy would tell you. I worked for four years talking to him day after day or week after week because I felt like a nag, you know. 
Right. But they did, and they're so proud of it, and they're so invested, and they're following up, and it's oh, so cool. cool. It wasn't just like a um, uh, robot kind of thing. He really cared, and he really found out. Right. So, so great. So well, what they're not going to do it just because the mother told them to do not it. At this not point. at 44. <laughs> no, not at 44. But my point is, so that's what I could work on. That's right. what I could control. Right. But that brings us to Stacey Abrams. Stacey Abrams went out and she got 800,000 people to register to vote. They actually had people in front of strip clubs getting people to register to vote. How cool is that? Right. I, I just thought that was the coolest thing. So some of us are, are Stacey Abrams who can get 800,000 people. And, and some can really, get two. And, and some can great. get two. And that's what I can do. And there's no compa you know, To me, it was a big deal. So it depends. So personal power, where do we get it? What is it? It means to me, it really comes from within us. And it's not about having control over anyone else outside of us. We're trying to do it in the right way. Um, so it's not having any um, attachment to the outcome. Certainly being mindful, not trying to uh, hurt anyone or diminish them in any way. But right. it's about finding our voice in the sea of other voices, right? right? right. And our voice being just as important as a Trump supporter, right? right. That's it. You know, and, so and, and I have to respect that their voice is important exactly. as well. Exactly. But there should be room for discussion, but uh, uh, a very considerate discussion and really listening to each other. Right. Um, and I've seen some of that. Sometimes like, that gets lost in the shuffle. It can. And again, that comes out of fear or wanting to change the other person's mind. But if we really just stick to our own part. After the election four years ago, I was on this plane going to California, and I sat next to this guy who had voted for Trump, and I had it. We had this amazing discussion for almost six hours. The people around us were like, when he went to the bathroom, like, how could you be talking this long? <laughs> like, how could you be putting up with this? But it was a great discussion. Neither one of us ever got upset. We had this lovely, well, what about, I would say, well, what about when he did this? What about that? What about, how could you support him? Because at that point, I really didn't understand. I thought, maybe I'm missing something. Right. Maybe I, I don't know something, you know. Right. But the truth is, I didn't miss anything. In the end, he was a guy who owned a airplane company, and the reality was, it really just came down to he's going to save me taxes. I own a big corporation. Right. And that's why I voted for him, and I could ignore all those other terrible things that happened now because I had an investment for myself. Right. So it's a personal interest kind of thing. How right. do we feel personally interested in this person? For me. Last year, I had come back from uh, Eastern Europe, and I wondered how people could be on the side of, of the lack of humanity. And then I got to see in our country how that could happen here. So, and in a way, maybe it was good for our country not to, you know, to like be more right-sized. It could happen here if we're not watching, if we're not paying attention. Right. Because everybody gets drawn by their own personal interests. Right. So, it's a, so we're complicated as humans. We are complicated. <laughs> Oh. It's been a long road. It has. So, we made it through the election time, right? I mean, we started this eight weeks ago. We did. And um, yeah. I guess we'll carry on. What are we going to talk about next week? Who it's knows? not over. <laughs> it's not over. Right. No, we've got a road ahead of us. Right. But I, and I do believe the election's only the beginning. We've got a lot of work. A lot of work to do. Yep. Yeah, a lot of work. And I'm not going to try it. And I don't want to step back. I want to do whatever I can to... Um, be part of the healing in our country, right? right? Yes. I'm more, I'm more right. Yeah. And I'm grateful because I'm interested. I wasn't ever really too interested before, but now right. I feel like I, I need to stay engaged and stay interested and know what people are doing. And I think there's a lot you can do on your local level if you're motivated to do something. Because how many people do something on a local level? Probably I not agree. too much. Yeah, you know? I agree. So. I'm gonna, and I'm curious to like, what will I do? You know, not that I did, I didn't just watch, uh, like I said, what did I do? I focused on two people and just trying to uh, do research and understand what the truth was, you know, and look at things from different sides. And, um, but I'm curious, I don't know. I'm gonna see how I can participate in some way, in a positive way to move forward, because we have a lot of work to do. We do. Especially, I, I know that my part is really in the idea, you know, like I said, now it's, 244 years it takes, you know, it took for a woman. Then even the whole, you know, the, um, the Vicky was here crying before. I was sobbing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was sobbing. I said, we need to get that on camera. <laughs> no, it was really like the, the, um, the reality of that, right? When right. you really sit with that. So what that's, maybe we could talk about that the next time. Because I, I think we may be running out of time. But um, 
just how long it has taken us as women to get to a place that says people can respect that we have something to contribute. And I think the more biodiverse we are, the healthier we're going to be as a planet. You know? Sure. So, great. It's been a great day. Enjoy your pie. Thank you. Thanks for the pie. All right, let's Bye, see. Everybody. Is anybody on here? Um, see, it's so sunny here. It looks like Dan's on there. Hi, Dan. That's something. And somebody's on here. All right. Uh, thanks for coming on. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. Oh, you got to shut it off. Do you want me to? That would be something if Dan came in. What? I don't think Dan will really watch his hair. He doesn't. He did uh, every, every one that we've done.